Hey everybody, Dave Forham from Dallas Arboretum. I'm here at the entrance to the Roy Meyer Children's Adventure Garden. I want to highlight a small tree, uh, or could be maintained as a shrub, uh, that's native to Texas and does really well for us in this climate. This is Yopon Holly, Ilex vomitoria. See uh, the shape? Usually it's a multi-trunk type tree. This is the full-size tree. In a bit, I'm going to go show you the dwarf Yopon Holly, which is used a lot in landscaping too. Uh, but these natural growth ones are pretty nice. In the spring, it'll have uh, lots of white flowers, and those little flowers turn into these berries, which here in late summer are gonna be green, and then these will eventually turn red. There's some varieties that are actually orange or yellow colored with these berries too. It got the name Ilex vomitoria because the Europeans uh, thought that this plant, uh, the berries from this plant were used to help people grow up when they were sick, but it's not the case. They actually don't make you sick, but that's how it got that kind of funny name. And um, it's one of the few plants actually here in North America that have caffeine, berries uh, on the poly here have caffeine. And the Native Americans would actually make a little tea out of the berries uh, for the caffeine that was in it. It's really cool. So let's go take a look. We're going to see the dwarf uh, Ilex vomitoria here in just a second. Come on, let's go look. Hey, everybody. Back again. This is our cute little dwarf yopon. Looks very different than the full size one. Uh, this was uh, a plant that probably was discovered growing dwarf and then they've just propagated it by taking cuttings and now this is in the nursery markets and used as a, a, a foundation planting plant in particular you'll see these around people's uh, houses around businesses there's one two three four five there's about ten right here in this one little section see and you can trim these into all kinds of nice little shapes so just let them grow naturally these are probably more or less their natural shape these haven't been pruned in quite a while so you see they stay pretty tidy they never get too big so it's a great small evergreen shrub if you need something in, around the home full sun and into almost full shade they'll, they'll, they'll do well either way so good versatile shrub that's native so let's go take a look at one more they also do some fun things with the full-size yopons and i think you'll like the one that i can show you in just a second let's go take a look hey they were back this is another form of ilex vomitoria the good old yopon you can actually prune these into these neat shapes this is a, a Japanese style of bonsai called Hindu pine means cloud form, but they had done this, this prune these limbs, just have these little floating tufts out of the uh, tips, and you'll find these sometimes in the uh, garden center. It's little pom pom like shrubs, usually just pruned around. There'll be five or six of those little pom poms, and that's the yopon holly as well. And you can continue to train them that way as they grow out. Some people love that, it's a fun uh, way to have an unusual shrub. So, yopon is very versatile, native to Texas something you ought to try. See you real soon.